In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, Graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are, the you are faithful in all you do for brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey. For they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. This man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. This man well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Listen, man, fear the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them 
to pray always without becoming weary. He said, there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my, advers my, my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, they will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, when the last days of liturgical year are getting near, our Lord Jesus Christ invites us and exhorts us to pray, to open ourselves to God. We may think as a, the family parents who are expecting to receive from their sons some words showing their loving affliction and affection for them. And God, who is our Father, also expects these words from us. Our Lord Jesus Christ said quite often in the gospel, and we know that to speak with God, our Lord, is to pray. There's many different ways of pray to God. Our prayer is the voice of faith, of our belief in Him. Also our confidence, and it will be great if we will always be the manifestation of our love towards our Heavenly Father. For our prayer to be trustful and persevering, St. Luke says that Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should pray continually, and not to lose heart. And that's what the Lord says to us, always to pray, and especially during this time of this pandemic, we have to keep praying and praying harder and harder. We know we can pray by praising our Lord, by thanking him or by acknowledging our human weaknesses and imploring God's mercy. But most of the time, we shall be demanding some grace and favors, not only for ourselves, but for others. Many times, we pray and ask for what we need and sometimes we forget the needs of those out there. And even if we do not know immediately get what we are asking for, only the fact of being able to address ourselves to God will already mean we have achieved something. And surely, even if not immediately, but eventually, we shall get 
I reply because, as the gospel says, will God not do justice for his chosen ones who cried out to him day and night, even if he delays in answering them? Sometimes we want to see the answer from our Lord right away. Dear Lord, I didn't need of this. I need it. Next minute. <laughs> our Lord also wants to persevere. The Lord wants us to persevere in prayer. Because sometimes when the Lord grants us what we need, we forget. We can remember the other passage when the 10 people were healed, were cured, and how many of them returned giving thanks and praising to God? Only one. What about the other nine? Persevere in prayer, confidence in God. God can be overcome only by prayer. That's the only way to overcome our Lord, by praying, by asking the Lord. So let us ask today our Blessed Mother to intercede for us and grant us all the graces that we need, that we can always be watchful in prayer, and to ask not only for what we need, but for the need of the whole world. Seeking faithfulness in all we do, we pray that churches may support and strengthen those they send in service. We pray to the Lord that all people of goodwill may be good workers in the truth. We pray to the Lord that strangers may, may find welcome among people of faith. We pray to the Lord. That travelers and, and migrants may receive aid and comfort, we pray to the Lord. That the sick may testify to the love they have found, we pray to the Lord. That the dead may continue their journey into life, we pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we place our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O God, and shape us in ways worthy of you. As we continue life's journey, may we support one another as co-workers in truth for the sake of your name, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Let's pray.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the binding work of human hands will become our spiritual and drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts we offer here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just. I do in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels pray, Your Majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in a humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Heaven and earth. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Made holy, therefore, these gifts we prayed by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar and Patrick, our bishops and other clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The glory are yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for all our needs and all the needs around the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, O Lord, we give you thanks for beseech your mercy that by pouring forth your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.